All right, so uh, torque converter to drive plate bolts. I did an earlier video on this. Um, so this is the black bolt or the, the, the different bolt. Out of the six bolts you have, there should be one different. And I explained that in an earlier video. If, you, if you've jumped straight here, um, look in my other videos where I've gone through Toyota automatic uh, torque converter bolts. One bolt is different. It's got a um, it's got a shoulder after the thread right up at the uh, under the head that locates the assembly first. Now, what, what I, when I was reading it, I thought there was a specific spot in one of these holes in the flex plate. No, that that's not right. What this does, it goes in any of the holes, but it locates it first. So you put this one in and just nip it up first. Then you go and proceed to put in your other bolts. Now your other bolts, just to show you, are a completely different color. Bear, just bear with me. I just need to rotate the engine assembly a little bit. It's on the engine stand, uh, on the engine crane. Just give me a second. Okay. So here we are. That's your other bolts. So, as I said, they'll look different. They'll either be a different colour or a different marking or, or something. But you'll have five the same and one different. Uh, also an important note is the flex plate orientation. I actually didn't take much notice of when I pulled it off, which was a bit of a mistake on my behalf. Um, your weld marks on 1J and 2Js, doesn't matter turbo or non-turbo, your weld marks face the gearbox. What does that mean? Here's another one that I have. So here's a flex plate. See your big welds, your big MIG welds, where your ring gear is welded onto that. So this is the gearbox side, or the, tor the torque converter side. That's your engine side. Your engine side doesn't have the, the penetration or the, the MIG on it. Okay, so this is your engine side. That's your gearbox side. Make sure you get that right. All right, so now that I've put the, the bolts in with the correct orientation, the drive plate, um, everything's ready to go. As I said, all I did was clean the bolts a little bit, just with a bit of thinners or carby cleaner, parts cleaner, whatever you got. Um, I did put a little bit of medium strength Loctite on there. Just, it's a thing that I like doing. I don't think there was anything on there, but I don't really want to visit this area again, although it's quite easy with this little opening plastic cover that you put on here, but um, yeah. All right. I'm going to be putting A into B right now. So this is the IS200 that I'm putting the engine conversion into.